Understanding and really making your place in the family business starts with you. Sure, there are others involved like mom and dad or brothers and sisters, but it's what you bring to the table, your motives, your expectations, your talents, skills and experiences and desires that are the foundation for your career in the family business. Without a clear sense of those qualities, you will find yourself limited and probably frustrated with not experiencing what you're truly looking for. To help you figure this out, here are some questions to reflect on with some resources to guide you along in the process. Let's start with, why are you there in the first place? No matter your reason, being clear on why you're working in the family business is important not just for you, but your family too. You might be there to help out during a busy time like a holiday, or it's a place where you can get back on your feet after a rough patch in your personal life. Maybe you want to carry on the family legacy or enjoy some of the perks of a successful enterprise. No matter the reason, be honest with yourself and your family. But be careful if you're there because you don't know what else to do with your life. I know the family business can be a safe place, but don't make it the job of last resort. It will only lead to frustration for yourself and unneeded tension with your family. Next, are you temporary or permanent? Do you know for sure? It's tempting to assume that your job is permanent, but if you haven't talked to the owner, whether it's mom and dad or another family member, about their long-term plans, you don't really know. If you haven't shown any interest in ownership, either by talking to them or demonstrating to them, selling the business may be part of their plan. If that happens, you'll no longer be a member of the owning family. You'll be another employee. Any benefits or autonomy you enjoyed will probably disappear possibly along with your job. Next, are you the right person in the right seat? Jim Collins in his book, Good to Great, Why Some Companies Make the Leap and Others Don't, popularized the term right people, right seats. That's a simple concept. For any organization to be successful, they must not only have the people with the knowledge, the skills, desire, and experience, but those well-qualified people must be in the right job or seat to be successful. Family businesses trip over themselves when loved ones are given jobs for which they're ill-qualified. It's a short-term solution, either fill an empty seat or help a family member struggling, but it creates a long-term problem. Next, what if it's not your place after all? Working in the family business has a lot of benefits, many of which you, you may not fully appreciate or realize, especially if you've never worked for anyone else. It's things like having the ear of the boss, which just happens to be your mom, or more autonomy and decision maker, and even setting your own schedule. But despite those perks, it may not be the best place for you, and that's okay. If it's not, or you're not sure, check out my article, What to Do If the Family Business Isn't For You. Sometimes things change or you learn more about yourself and what you want out of your life. Whatever the reason, leaving the family business isn't a sign of failure. It's the very mature realization that there are other options that you need to and want to explore. There's a lot that goes into understanding and making your place in the family business. It's just not about whether you can do the job. It's whether you want it for yourself and whether you want to take a leadership role. That last piece about leadership isn't mandatory, but it may be expected. So be clear on your motives for joining, the skills and talent you can offer, and ultimately, what you want for your life. Until next time, I wish you, your family, and your business the very best. Take care.